The laws of gravity and aerodynamics have always existed, but until they were learned and understood, they kept the entire human race on the ground. Once they were discovered, they became the very basis for achieving human flight. The laws of living are as old as human life itself. Being ignorant of them only restricts your ability to achieve genuine happiness, fulfillment, purpose, and success. Those who learn these laws and how to use them in their flight throughout life will achieve a level of purpose, success, and happiness that others can only dream of. The purpose-driven life will become the purpose-accomplished life. Our purpose-driven homes will become our purpose-accomplished homes. The richest man who ever lived, Stephen K. Stein. <laughs> what is happening? So whenever they are studying things or doing certain things like putting models together and such, I just go and grab any resources that I have. And these two are from uh, The Good and the Beautiful's um, History, The Big Book of Stories, and this is their um, history. I think this is year one. So I have the Wright Brothers so Take Flight Story, The History of Flight Lesson, I have the Tuskegee Airmen Who Were, and the Amelia Earhart Who Was book. So I just put it out and we pick it up randomly and just read through a few things, a few facts, see if there's anything we hold on to or think is really, really interesting for the moment. No pressure or anything, just to spark ideas and such. If we use it, we use it. If we don't, we don't. Tuskegee Institute was a famous black college founded by Booker T. Washington in 1881. Eleanor Roosevelt was the wife of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. She had her own weekly radio show in a newspaper column. Get it, girl. Get it, mama. Good job. Fanna, see? Eggplant. Savannah just finished her <laughs> Zoom call for gymnastics. The boys are in the other room um, working on their airplane model and we are reading the Who Was books for um, the Tuskegee Airmen and Amelia Earhart, um, which brought up questions about the presidents and Eleanor uh, Roosevelt's involvement in helping the Tuskegee Airmen um, get more space and all of that other stuff. So we are just having conversations, reading as they build. We did lunch already. What you need for so, so Cameron's been wanting lots of hugs lately. <laughs> we just had a whole conversation about how I'm the best mommy ever. And then uh, the last time he said that, Savannah said, you're the only mom he's ever had completely busted my bubble but anyway so now that gymnastics is over she's probably going to spend the next hour or so flipping around the house just like that and calling violet and calling vi her bestie i think it's time to start to get into snack and dinner prep and um our second round and i'm going outside man. third round of reading this guy has been dancing around me all day <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still have to do the wings on the bottom. It looks good though. Nice. It does look good. He's Barack Obama. He was the latest president before Donald Trump. Term 2009 to 2017. That is Mr. Falk on his lily pad who guards our garden and glows in the dark. Throw 
all growing so much, guys. My Swiss chard has completely run out of space. It needs to be harvested. I've never grown this cabbage before. Here is my lettuce. And my kale is open. That's my tomato that I need to put a trellis. Is it called a trellis? I need to put that up around it. These are so pretty! But they're so massive. <laughs> I honestly was not expecting <laughs> them to be so big. My green peppers over here are growing nicely. And these are cucumber back here. No, that's zucchini. This is cucumber over here. And this right here. How pretty. Purple cauliflower. Which I had no idea there was purple cauliflower. But there is. That's my little tour of today's garden. Okay, so now I have everything that I need to try to put together our vertical planter so and your friend took a nap so I'm <laughs> it was like a 15 minute nap but it was a nap nonetheless anyway um it comes with this little packet so worm castings green bush beans which they kindly sent over as well and this video is actually not sponsored it's just something they sent um to us to try and it was um a perfect fit because we just put our uh, square foot gardens out and thought it would be nice um, to go ahead and use this vertical garden so I thought it would show you guys what it was like to put it all together and then you guys can kind of see how it worked out for us I know that the company is owned by a homeschooling family as well so that was really exciting to hear if I can do whatever I can to try to spread the word about the things that we make as incredible homeschooling families then that makes me happy so she sent over the mover as well that makes it really easy um, to move the vertical garden this top piece it is the piece that goes at the very top for watering holes in each tier and this is for distributing the water well mine has five tiers so these are the trays that go in between each um, tier. So this is one of the tiers and then I'm assuming that this will go right in between. And then this looks like it is for the mover. And then this is the rest of my tiers. Um, it does say not to put them all on because they are not going to fit on one another until they're full of soil. So I guess the soil fills them up nicely enough so that they will fit together like puzzle pieces. So it seems pretty simple. Okay, so the mover is all together now. You just click the pieces into place at the bottom. My incredible husband did that for me. And now it's just like that. So it'll be easy to just put each tier on here and just kind of move it over to the spot where I need it. grab my seeds I'm just gonna use the leftover seeds I had from when we started our seedlings earlier on I've got like tomato and I've got a bunch of stuff I'll show you so these are all the seeds I have and we're just going to sort through them and figure out what we want to plant now that's what she looks like I am definitely going to put this one on the bottom I think I'm gonna put the carrot on the bottom I'm gonna put the green bean on the top with the watermelon and the cantaloupe and then I'm going to put the two lettuce um, next and then this one next to last which is the green bean. So I just have all of them in here I'm pretty sure that they're positioned correctly and I'm just gonna have Brian pop those on Top of one another and move it over. So I got it off camera because I was trying to actually focus and get it done But I basically have carrots in here um, What's in there lettuce lettuce? Uh, this is bell pepper I made a mistake. I was supposed to put half bell pepper, half beans, but I made a mistake. So that's all bell pepper. And then this over here is green beans. And then I just have one pocket with the watermelon and one pocket with the um, cantaloupe to see if they sprout anything. So that's what I've got. Now I'm going to put these water reservoirs at the top. I think they just go right on the top just like that um, with the opening 
right towards the plant so i'm going to do that for each one of them and then i don't think i'm going to water this because i think that the soil that i purchased was pretty um, damp already so i'm going to let it go for like a day or two and then um, try the water out and show you guys what that's like too so oh <laughs> a lot of work but i think that I got it done so I'm just gonna put those on the rest of these and then have Brian stack them up for me on the mover and then move them over into the spot where they are going to live I think that um, these I know in the instructions it basically said that it wasn't going to fit in like a puzzle piece until it was full of the uh, potting mix which I totally understand why because they're super heavy now which makes sense that they will all fit in together um, because I'm sure that it's a different shape than it was when it was empty so I'll do that now and here I am Serena just call me Serena the gardener okay <laughs> inside of the instructions the getting started tips um, it has a little guide on how many plants you should plant per pocket so um, quite a bit of these are one plant per pocket then some of them are three plus plants per pocket so I actually may try some of those green beans in one of them so this is what I have and I'm thinking I have plenty of cucumber I have plenty of tomato so I may try to do some carrot I have plenty of bell pepper but I don't know so many spots um, inside of those tiers yeah that's a lot of spaces that's a lot of spaces to fill so I'm gonna go ahead and start getting these seeds into those spots so far we're gonna do carrot and these lettuce lettuce two different types of lettuce um, some bell pepper and I'll probably put green beans in that one and then that one over there I'm gonna try out some watermelon and cantaloupe we'll see how it goes So here we are, it's all done. This is the water um, tray here. And then it ends up being like a drip irrigation type of situation, which I think is pretty neat. So we will watch it and add it to our garden journal and see how everything grows. I pretty much had Kendall um, make me some little markers so these are my green beans right here and he just made super cute little markers and so we can make some more permanent ones and that's what it looks like i'm not going to water it now because i think the soil was nice and wet and maybe in a couple of days i'll go ahead and try this out and show you guys what it ended up being like somebody please tell me how to harvest all of that goodness right there I'm like nervous <laughs> I'm probably gonna go I'm probably gonna go and look it up now and Brian keeps getting on me because he says we need to harvest it before it spoils which is 100% the truth so I'm gonna go look that up now but let me know um, what are best practices for harvesting I think my lettuce is definitely ready and my Swiss char is ready and my kale is ready so I want to um, get the kids and get that harvested so we can actually cook with it and that should be a lot of fun I think Kendall would love that to actually grab the stuff from our garden and go and cook with it in the kitchen so I'm very excited about that I am now officially officially tired so I'm gonna take myself inside so I can wash my hands clean myself up and um, start helping Brian with dinner I think we're having breakfast for dinner which makes me really really happy so I'm gonna do that after dinner I'll get a workout in hopefully I will get myself ready for bed early enough so I can come and sit out here or lay in bed and read and get some work done get some editing done that is what I'm going to do for the rest of the day so I really love how everything is turning out um, I think this was a good investment on our part because I know we're gonna be spending quite a bit of time here this 2020 summer which is nothing like what we thought it was going to be but that's okay if you want the information on the green stop vertical garden that they sent over to us I will leave that in the description box below also for all of you guys that have green thumbs that are like major major gardeners I'd love to know all of your tips and suggestions and all the things like we are here to live and learn I want to start taking or collecting the information that we gather here and maybe letting it live on a nice little developed 
and um, ever-growing blog post on um, our website on our blog so I'm thinking about doing that for sure I'm gonna go finish up a blog post um, about how life has been these last several weeks yeah so that'll be good like therapy for me at the end of the day to get that out but yeah I am liking I have been enjoying talking to you all as I vlog our ways through the day anyway remember life is so very full of lessons so our goal in life is to live and to learn and I will see you in our next one Thank <laughs> you.